Welcome back, everybody. It's time now for Great Day Books. Lori Fazio from RJ Julia Booksellers is here, and she's got some great reads for all ages, so that's good. we got to get the kids reading um, so they don't have the brain drain this summer. Exactly. <laughs> start, start them now. And some of these are, you know, really, well, a couple are really good read-alouds, oh, okay. um, which, is, which is pretty exciting. But we'll start with the, the picture books. So Together We Ride, I mean, it's a time that, you know, everyone's getting back out on their bikes, and, you know, you're teaching your young ones how to, how to ride. And this is a very, very simple book, but very, very sweet about this dad teaching his little girl how to ride and she falls and he's like well you got to get back up and very simple words but there's a lot of things going on in the pictures that you know the kids can you know look at find the the, the dog or the kitty or the birds and then you know it gives them a little inspiration to ride um, I ride love the bike. illustrations yeah mm, so sweet so yeah, it's sweet. very very sweet it's a local author of, of Connecticut too which, oh, is, really? which is a lot of fun that's yeah so awesome. I have a couple of those too yeah that's but, great and you know that's just a rite of passage learning how to ride a bike so this is great that they have a book for that yeah yeah, yeah. exactly um, so this is one of the favorites in the store right now so Lizzie in the cloud I love that, that. Uh, is a gorgeous and illustration. Yeah, the illustrations in here are just beautiful and some are bright pages and some are a little darker but um, so Lizzie goes to on Saturday she goes with her parents to the park every every Saturday and there's a guy selling clouds and while all the kids were running to the carousel whatever she wants a cloud and she picks just a plain cloud even though some of them are in different shapes and octopus and an elephant and she she's like I just want a little plain cloud and it comes with a little care um, instructions and so she gets home and she follows all the instructions but she doesn't pay attention to the last one that says a cloud needs as much room as you could give it and so as the cloud is growing and growing and growing she has to let the cloud go oh. and realizes though that that's okay I took good care of it and now it's time for it to go and do That's its a own thing. Story. It really is beautiful, but in a very, very subtle way about, you know, letting letting go and it's really sweet. Aww, really, really sweet. Okay. That sounds like so stratus cumulus. Yeah. <laughs> You could read that to kids. I could read that to kids, yeah, it's absolutely. Got a weather theme All and right. a moral there, exactly, in there. Exactly, there okay. is. There is. Oh boy. Okay, so a duet um, by Elise Broach. Elise is also a Connecticut author. Um, so this is a book that she does a little bit of um, mystery. It's a it's a middle grade reader, so like eight to twelve year olds. It's a great read aloud. There's there's um, some piano in it, some music, and there's a, an event where they have to do everything around the the um, Chopin. Oh, okay. And so she learns to sing a song while this other um, boy who she doesn't know and they haven't become friends plays it on the piano. And then a little mystery comes in. I won't tell you what that mystery is. And the two of them have to work together and figure it out. But it's musically based, which is kind of fun. It goes it sort of parallels with her book called Masterpiece, which is about um, visual art. So she, she likes to bring in some of the natural arts to, That's or terrific. the fine arts rather, to her stories. I okay. love it. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is uh, the, a dragon used to live here. is a really great read aloud. Read it with your family. The two noble children, um, they they love their mother, who's very practical. But they meet this young woman, and they are really intrigued by her. The brother thinks that she's a witch. The daughter thinks that she's got a lot to tell them about, you know, her mother growing up and the dragon. And it's just so fun. And there's some really interesting pictures in there. And yeah, and then we want to go mystery to our young adults. So time will tell. You always wonder like what your parents were like in high school. Yeah. Well, these these kids, um, they dug up a time capsule and all things from their parents' high school years. And there's a knife in there with a little note that says, I didn't mean to kill anyone. Oh boy. And so now they've got to figure out what's going on. So this is for young adults. Oh. That is um, terrific. But yeah, a lot of young adults are really drawn to mysteries right now. Yeah. Oh, this so, is great. Yeah. yeah. And especially with uh, Stranger Things coming back yes. out. Yes, on exactly. Friday dropping, so. Yeah. Wow, this is yeah. a pretty extensive book. It really is, yeah. Okay. It's, it's really deep and dark. So again, young adult, you know, 12 and up, maybe 14 and up, depending on, you know, your 12 or 13 year old, what you think they can handle. All right, not a lot of not a lot of pictures and a whole lot of words. <laughs> young adult. Young adult, you know. <laughs> Here I go. Come back to, you know, Lizzie in the cloud. All right, so we're talking, we have about a minute. <laughs> yeah, so Love and Saffron. So we read the first 90 pages, I think, which is the first part of the book, um, all written in letters. So what we're finding now is that there's a relationship, you know, between these two women, older woman, younger woman, one's in San Francisco, Francisco, one's in Washington, one's married, one's not, and how they're developing this wonderful friendship through letters and recipes. I want to make the muscle recipe. I make muscles a lot, oh, but really? the one in this one, 
I'm like, we've got to try it. It's okay. really, really I think great. Aren't they hard to make, though, mussels? No. They're not. No, they're really not. Okay. Just add the right flavors. In here. It'll Love tell you how to do it. saffron. All right, thank you. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> so it's sure always a pleasure. Make sure they're cooked all the way. Yes. I gotta get reading if they don't this. open up, don't eat it. I've got to get reading the kids' book. <laughs> it got pictures. It doesn't have pictures. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. Thanks uh, for joining us. Thank you.